Nike's teasing us with a DMP 11 chalk drop soon. Secret Store is getting robbed for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And Obama and Yara is bringing heat in 2024. Let's start with the DMP 11s or the Gratitude 11s. These are set to drop on December 9th, and I thought it was kind of crazy that Nike was already doing a shock drop. Well, come to find out, it was actually the Neapolitan 11s, and they look so similar on the app, I actually thought they were dropping DMP 11s over a month early. Now, this is not the case. They did drop these, and they did a unique style for this. They did a 60-minute draw. Will we see 60-minute draws in the future? I hope not, because that takes so much time. Just let me know if I get the shoe or if I don't get the shoe. Don't make me wait 60 minutes for it. Now, with that being said, yes, we're still getting a Gratitude 11 shock drop. We're going to get exclusive access, shock drop, then a normal release. I'm talking they're going to release millions of pairs of these because they do for every holiday 11. So if you're worried about grabbing that sneaker, don't worry, it won't be hard. You're going to have so many chances online. And if you go in store and put in that footwork, you won't have any issues getting that sneaker. But let me know, did that sneakers poll also confuse you too? Now, a shoe that's going all over Twitter. Twitter, the Dusty Olive Dunk. That's right, we are getting a restock. These are loaded up on sneakers for Friday, November 3rd. Now, this shoe is going to be $120, and we know in the aftermarket, this shoe used to be crazy, but Nike has already done exclusive access for these, and now they're doing this initial drop. And we expect them to drop a good amount of pairs of these on sneakers, so just expect that price to come down. So if you took an L back in 2021 when these released, you may have a chance to get these for much cheaper. Now, Nike does seem to be restocking all these popular models, as we'll get a vintage green dunk restock as well in the upcoming future, but man, I don't know why Nike's doing this. I'm guessing they just need to make sales, and they know that we want these popular colorways, because recently they've been releasing some dunks that just don't look that great. Now, terrible news for the Flea Club out in Chicago. They got robbed once again. This is actually their fifth time getting robbed, which is absolutely insane. They stole over $100,000 worth of inventory. Now, this is a resale shop, and the owner even claimed that insurance is not going to help them out here. Unfortunately, because they've been robbed so many times, insurance just dropped these guys, and they have no coverage when it comes to this. As you can see here, they ran a Jeep straight through the front door and just started stealing everything. Now, I want to know, if they're stealing all of these shoes, did they already know where the shoes were in the back? Because, dude, only the left shoe is up on the wall. What is going on here? Yeah, sure, you can steal the left shoe, but how are you going to sell just the left shoe if you're going to steal this stuff? Makes no sense to me. They probably prioritized some of the clothing. I didn't watch the full news report. But, man, this is very, very tough. I hope this doesn't happen. If you guys are doing local deals or anything like this, I hope none of this ever happens to any of you guys. If you guys are doing any deals in public with other people that you don't really know, I would go ahead and meet it somewhere with high foot traffic. Now, for this scenario, this was an actual store that they just ran into. So you couldn't really stop this. It sucks that happened. I do hope this store recovers from what happened right here. Now, some terrible news for all of us waiting for Yeezys to return. That is right. They are stopping Yeezy production until 2024. This is due to the things going on over in the Middle East. But yes, according to Complex's Brendan Dunn, we will not see Yeezys until at least 2024. I'm not really sure what Adidas's plans are, and no one does. But unfortunately, all those releases that we thought were going to happen are no longer going to be here. And we're just going to have to hold out until next year to see if we actually get a return of Yeezys. Now, probably the most interesting story in this whole video, Nike Sneakers Showcase. As you can see, here from the sneaker showcase we heard you all like leaks and we know the first impressions are everything here to bring you just that sneaker showcase is a new sneakers live series revealing never before seen upcoming drops by nike so what's this mean? This means it's going to eliminate all the leaks that we see on Twitter, on Instagram, all of these. Nike is going to be showing us what they have in the future. Why are they doing this? They are tired of people leaking their products when some of them are fake and they want to prove to us what they actually look like. Now, will they do this for every single drop? I'm not 100% sure. I don't know Nike's direction, but it seems like they're trying to stop all the leaks going around on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all those places, and all the people getting those early pairs that we see. It looks like Nike is over that and they really want to stop this. Let me know your thoughts on this new sneaker showcase. Now, on the year, they are bringing heat in 2024. We're getting a new Jordan 3 and a Jordan 4. See, I thought last year when the Jordan 4 on the was going to come out, we were going to see this. Now, these are just renders from Z Sneakers Head. Thank you, Z Sneakers Head, for these. But man, if this actually happens, this is going to be a go. I would much rather have this look on the on the 4 than the last Jordan 4 we got from them. As you can see, these are all just mock-ups, so this can always change. This happened last time, as too. The mock-ups were way better than the actual shoe. But this is really exciting to see for 2024 because of Alma Meniere's if they're going to give us a 3 and a 4 it is going to be absolutely amazing now the best part about Alma Meniere is they will do women's sizing but they will include those extended sizing one of the problems we've had recently is there's all these fire women's releases and they don't give us any extended sizing 
for me it's not that big of a deal i know a lot of people can't fit these women's sizes so they have to miss out on the drop shout out to um um for at least giving us extended sizing on shoes like these and for having some of the best bot protection in the game with their domain switches now we have another air jordan one on the way for 2024 the metallic gold now this shoe is kind of giving me that taxi vibe i know it's a little bit different colorway i personally don't like this i'm gonna be passing 100 but this is another jordan one that we have to look forward to in 2024 now that we're talking about 2024 there's a mocha low or a palomino low coming out in fall of next year as well i'm super excited for these nike knows they can sell the palomino slash mocha colorway so they're gonna keep producing it because they have to make those sales will i be grabbing this pair of course i'll wear this all the time i love my palomino one highs and i know this is just a concept from z sneakerhead but i'm expecting it to be pretty similar to this like they said right here the air jordan one low og mocha will release during fall of 2024 at select jordan brand retailers these would be 140 dollars and just know if you're getting og lows always go down half a size because they do run pretty big Overall, this is what we do have coming up. There's a bunch of restocks. There's a bunch of shock drops. All of this stuff's going down. If you guys are confused at all on any of these drops, Kicks can take care of you guys. That's right. We'll text you when drops are going down. We have full one-on-one -on -one support. We get free items all the time. And a lot of members just claim their $350 for free. This is ending very, very soon. So make sure you claim that. If you're in Kicked, open a support ticket. Get your free $350. And guys, thank you for being on this video. If you haven't already, smack that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out of here.